Hello and welcome. My name is Thea Cannon and this is my 112th testimony for the Elohim of Yahweh, for our Almighty Father, Abba. Mm. I'd like to start with a prayer, please, for, to ask the Almighty Father's protection over me while I be a vessel for them and speak for them here on earth. Yeah. So, Yahweh, please, in Yeshua's mighty Kodesh name, and by the power of your mighty rule, Kakadesh Yaqwa, can I ask you to please put your hedge of protection around me, your good angels, yeah. And may I be a vessel for you, Yaqwa, here on earth, and speak for you, yeah. In Yeshua's mighty Kodesh name, and by the power of your mighty rule, Kakadesh Yaqwa, Yaqwa will, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, this, uh, oh, it's not a hard subject, uh, from a human perspective, it is hard, but sometimes uh, we see things as hard in life, but really they're not, yeah, the whole subject can appear hard to talk about, but then in not talking about it, it continues to happen, mm. So I suppose sometimes we have to talk about things that we really don't want to talk about. Yeah. Uh, I, for me, it is the fears and alarms that the beast has created out there within our society. And a lot of these are in conspiracy theories. Yeah. Mm. You see, I too am one to look up conspiracy theories. And I've checked them all out over the years. Some of them are true and some of them are not, yeah. Yeah. And it's hard to discern which ones are and which ones are not, yes. Oof. Yeah. See, I look at them and I think, oh, I think anything out there is going to create fears and alarms within one's head, yeah. But then you need to rationally think about each subject, yeah. Because sometimes we can create fears and alarms, yes, by listening to the Beast of Babylon in our head, yeah. But we really didn't need to have those fears and alarms, no. Mm. Yeah. I suppose that comes back to me reflecting on my life journey, yeah. And realising that when the beast had me stuck and hiding from fears and alarms in my head throughout my life, yeah. Yeah, why? Because I started to doubt myself then, yeah. Because I have to be honest, and the beast started coming at me from the left telling me I sounded stupid, yeah. And I suppose... <clears throat> Instead of focusing on what I was saying, I started listening to her. Yeah. And that has been my journey. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Oof, Yaka rebukes your beast of Babylon in Yaka's name. Yeah. And that's written in scripture. The enmity between the beast and the woman's seed. Yeah. She's been doing that to me since the 3.333 year mark in my spiritual battle. Yeah. Yeah. After the Father and Yeshua through the Royal Kokodesh, the Holy Spirit as we Westerners call it, taught me about spiritual directions and I'd been testing the thoughts that had been coming at me for a long time before I learnt spiritual directions, yes. Spiritual directions make it a lot easier, yes. Yeah. Oof. But I'd been testing and testing and testing. Mm. Yeah, you're cutting that off again. Yeah. Why, Thea? Because she's coming at me again from the left, telling me I sound stupid. Yeah, that's her tactic with me. You'd think that I'd know it by now, but yeah. When it comes down to it, 
I was told I was stupid, yeah, for over 11 years of my life, for everything I thought, yeah, yeah, to the point that I didn't speak anymore, yeah, and every thought I had back then, yeah, I used to think that there was something wrong with me, yes, yes, I was grinded down slowly, Yes, over 11 years, yes, <laughs> to the point that I didn't even trust my own thoughts anymore, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 it was partly my fault, yeah, because <laughs> I had no boundaries to know. <laughs> And I didn't speak up for myself, no. I held it all in and stewed on it and dwelled on it, yeah. Until it nearly killed me in the end, yeah. I stressed so much about all the things I wanted to say and never said, yeah. Then I ended up creating disease within my body, yeah. Yeah. Not just once, no. A few times over, yeah. Because I'd listened to these human voices telling me for years. Just not one person, numerous people, because I was always trying to speak for the Elohim of Yahweh, for Yeshua, and for the Father, and trying to tell people the truth. And they would flip it on me and tell me that I was stupid for thinking such things. It was coming out of jealousy and all different areas, yeah. <laughs> To the point that I doubted my own thoughts. Yes. <laughs> Ew. I couldn't look anyone in the eyes back then. No. I didn't believe in me at all. No. I was being told constantly by all the humans around me that I was stupid. Yeah. Yeah. So then I decided to be by myself, yeah, <laughs> with the father in Yeshua, yeah, he didn't tell me I was stupid, not at all, <laughs> no, never, <laughs> they were trying to tell me the truth the whole time and no one would listen, and they'd all tell me I was stupid and crazy and jealous and whatever. For thinking such things, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, I I partly brought it on myself, yeah. But as you sure points out, <laughs> no one had ever taught me about trees. No, <laughs> she had to teach me that through hard lessons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> At the end of the day, I learned. Because people keep crossing me and hurting me. Yeah. So I learned what to look for. Yeah. And how to avoid these people. Yeah. And what they resembled. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So I decided to be by myself. <laughs> For 11 years before I consummated my marriage with Yeshua, yeah. Best 11 years, yeah, of my life that I'd had, yeah. Yeah. What about a partner? Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Yucca rebukes your beast of Babylon in Yucca's name. Finally, no one telling me I was stupid for the thoughts I was having, yeah. So I actually got to think for myself, yeah. Fuck you. Yucca rebukes your beast of Babylon in Yucca's name. Yeah. Yeah. People's words can affect others. Yes. Yeshua said, make sure you test all your words before you speak, really. Yeah. The only way you can speak without control is if you 
monitor everything that you put into your heart and into your head. Yeah. So at the end of the day, when you do open up your mouth without controlling your head or your words, you know that only good's going to come out. Yeah. Because that's all you've been dwelling on and thinking about is good. Yeah. I used to be there and think about the negative to the point that it nearly killed me. Yeah. Creating scenarios too within my head from the Beast of Babylon. Yeah. Yeah. As I said, I played a part two. I didn't have good boundaries. But then I allowed myself to listen to the Beast of Babylon. Yeah. Who was telling me too from the left that I am stupid. And that I didn't make sense. Yeah. She was the one coming at me through them. Yeah. She was doubling it up in my head. Hmm. The only ones that were telling me that they loved me. And that it did make sense. Yeah. Was you sure am I right? Yeah. And the father above. Yeah. But I had the rest of the world telling me. You were stupid. Yeah. Not all. No. I had some really good girlfriends. Yeah. Best friends. Yeah. And they would hear me out. Yeah. These thoughts that were rolling around in my head. Yeah. And then I was able to make sense of it all and see that I was being played, ultimately, in the end. Yeah, by the Beast of Babylon and by humans that were choosing to listen to her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it took me four or five years of being by myself to truly find me again and to not feel bad for thinking. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Yucca abuse you, Beast of Babylon and Yucca's name. Yeah. Yeah. And I have to say, when I first put boundaries out there, because it's taken me over 10 years, yeah, to learn all this, yeah. When I first started putting boundaries in place, yeah, I felt bad for putting them in place, yeah. Because I had the beast of Babylon telling me, what are you doing? That's going to hurt their feelings. She never, ever let me think about myself. No. Fuck you, bitch. Yuck, Ruby, she beast of Babylon, and Yuck was saying. So there's a play of the beast of Babylon. It's always about everyone else's feelings at the expense of you. So really, you know, she's playing on you. Give me a second, please, yeah. Whew. Sorry about that. I had to play my nose, yeah. Yeah. I've had the beast play me a lot of my life, yeah. And my journey has been about healing and learning how to put boundaries in place, yeah, to save me. Because as I was saying, the beast will play in your head, as she did with me, that I had to keep being a good person to everyone around me. Fuck my boundaries, yeah. At the expense of me, yeah. What do I mean by this? Some men would come at me with very inappropriate language and suggestions, yeah. And the beast would be in my head telling me that I couldn't pull them up on that because I'd hurt their feelings. Yes, fuck you, bitch. Yuck, rebuke, she beast of Babylon, and Yuck was saying, yeah. <clears throat> she never once let me think, what about me and my feelings? Because I, Thea Cannon, would never think to say such things to another person. No. Fuck you, bitch. Yucca rebukes your beast of Babylon in Yucca's name. I had enough respect for the person to not talk to them that way. Yeah. But I wasn't allowed to have that same respect given to me by the beast and her thoughts. No. Fuck you, bitch. Yucca rebukes your beast of Babylon in Yucca's name. I, the beast would play on me throughout my life that if I spoke up for myself and said, hey, that was inappropriate, please don't talk to me like that, I was going to break their fucking hearts and devastate them. That's what she played in my head. Yeah. Yeah. How does that make sense? I never reasoned it all out. Yeah. Instead, I went with the, oh, I don't want to hurt their feelings. I'll just pretend to ignore it and maybe they won't do it anymore. Fuck you, bitch. Yuck, rebuke, she beast of Babylon, and Yuck was name. Yeah. 
You want to know something? They got worse. Fuck you, bitch. Yaka rebukes you, Mr. Babani, Yaka's name. Yeah. So it wasn't until Yeshua and my father got me to do some serious healing through some counselling. Yeah. That I realised that I partially allowed it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I never said anything. Yeah. I know, I was being played by the beast telling me that I was going to hurt their feelings. <sighs> what am I trying to say? I suppose if I had a spoken this out loud instead of having these thoughts rolling around in my head all the time and the beast telling me that I was stupid for even thinking such things yeah if I'd have been more courageous back then to actually speak them out loud oh, like I said I have really good friends but there were certain things I didn't bring up not my vulnerabilities yeah that's the thing yes you know, I'd been taken advantage of by people that listened to the beast all my life. And she was also telling me that I couldn't come across as vulnerable because then that'd be a way for them to attack me. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? It was when I was vulnerable. Yeah. That I seen the best in people and myself. Yeah. I had to be vulnerable to do all this, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. I'd seen what society did to people, yeah. Who came across as crazy and so forth, yeah. And I'd lived with the beast telling me my whole life that I would be attacked for talking and thinking in such a way as this. Yes. Yeah. So I've put myself on the line. I've been vulnerable with you all and revealed my heart and soul, my ruach, my mind, my heart. I've given you it all. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I've rebuked you, Mr. Babylonian. What was that? Yes. <sighs> yeah. I put my life on the line in the hopes that you would see the Father Yahweh Abba. Yes, not me. I want you to see the Father. I want you to see Yeshua. Yes. That has been my main goal throughout. Because everybody kept telling me that they had done all the chaos in the world and that was not true. That was the beast of Babylon. They were being falsely represented to the world and no one wanted to get to know them because of these false allegations against them. Yeah. Because they got to know them. And they were beautiful and love us all. Yes. And all I wanted was for you all to be open to hearing just how beautiful they are. I want to just open up your hearts and your mind to the possibility that maybe we'd all gotten it wrong. Fuck you, bitch. Yucca rebukes your beast above one in Yucca's name. Yeah. Yeah. About who God he really is and who Yeshua really is. Yeah. Has it been falsely misrepresented to all the atheists and so forth out there? I heard your complaints and why you didn't want to get to know them. Yes. And they weren't true. <laughs> no. So I needed you to hear me, please. So you would open up your heart, your ruach, your mind to the possibility that the Father and Yeshua love you so much and want only the best for you yes <laughs> yeah as they've always wanted for me 
is. <laughs> but I was too afraid to listen back then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I will always push you back to your sure. Because I can't give you what they can. <laughs> yeah. Unconditional love and guidance, understanding, patience, forgiveness. Yeah. I'm a human after all. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> you ever abuse your beast of Babylon in Yaku's name? I understand that. I know that. Yeah. So I will always, always, always push you back to the Father, Abba. And you're sure in your thoughts on the right for a personal, intimate relationship of expressing your innermost thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. So please have a counselling session, as you sure just said. One on one, film yourself. Say all your innermost thoughts and see which direction you're looking to for your own. Ruach, yeah, and you, yeah. <sighs> yeah. You should, yeah, we'll leave in use with that. Yeah. yeah, go to the Father for all your questions, film yourself, and see if he agrees with the words that have been spoken. Ask him if he believes it, not you, him. Because our whole lives we've been ingrained with information that was untrue. Yeah. We may believe it to be true in our heads, but it may not have ever been true. No. So ask if the father, if you sure agree with it, not you. Yeah. Because I'll point you to all the real information out there that will help you, yeah, to heal and find peace in you, yeah, and others will see it. Mm. And they'll ask, what happened? Why did you change? And you can tell them, it was the father in Yeshua. <laughs> Through the rural Kakadesh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they see me. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'd love to see. Yeah, <sighs> each of us sharing our inner journeys with each other, so we all know we're not alone. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll leave you with a prayer. Yeah. Left hand down, yeah. Mm. yeah. Left hand down, Satan, the beast of Babylon, was cast down by the father, Yahweh, yeah, Abba. Right hand up, as you sure, Jesus was raised up by the father, Yahweh, as we should do in our thoughts. Yeah. Cast our left thoughts down, raise our right thoughts up. Yeah. Yeah. Look back, I've done testimonies on spiritual warfare tactics, yeah. And I write them everywhere, yeah. Yeah. For them, not for me. No. Mm. <laughs> Always. <sighs> yeah. So please, Yaqua, I'm human. I do not know all. I know that. <laughs> please, Yaqua. Yes, Yaqua. Yeah. Please, Yaqua, in Yeshua's mighty Kodesh name, 
and by the power of your mighty will, Crocodile Shuffle, could you please forgive your creation our debts, as we your creation forgive our debtors. And we thank you, Yahweh, for leading out us, leading us away from evil, from the beast of Babylon, from the left in our thoughts. Thank you, Yahweh, in Yeshua's mighty Kodesh name. And by the power of your mighty rule, Kakadesh Yahweh, for that. Thank you. Here. Yeah. Like John said, making a clear path one way to Yeshua, to the Father. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Please, Yahweh, in Yeshua's mighty Kodesh name, and by the power of your mighty rule, Kakadesh Yahweh, starts with you, looking with him, and having an honest conversation with yourself. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Yahweh rebukes the beast of Babylon and Yahweh's name. That's where our world peace comes from, is your willingness to have a look at yourself. Yeah. Yeshua does not need you to work on others. No. He's there for them. If only you would tell them about him. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Yaku rebukes you, beast of Babylon, in Yaku's name. Yeah. Because they know all, and you don't. The Father and Yeshua know what people need. They put things and people in, in their lives at certain points. So does the beast. Fuck you, bitch. Yaku rebukes you, beast of Babylon, in Yaku's name. Yeah. Please, Yaku, in Yeshua's mighty Kodesh name. And by the power of your mighty rule, Kodesh, Yaku. Yeah. Could you please let your wrath be completed here on earth, Yaku, as it is in the Malhut? Of you, Yahweh, in your home. Yeah. In Yeshua's mighty Kodesh name, and by the power of your mighty rule, Kodesh Yahweh, and by the most powerful of all, you, Yahweh, our Abba, you, Yahweh, our Elohim. Yeah. And Yahweh, Eha. Yeah. You know, the beast came at me through that and said, why explain what the Malhut is? Yeah. Humans should research it for themselves. Isn't that what you said, beast? Fuck you, bitch. Yaku rebukes you, beast of Babylon and Yaku's name. But as Yeshua and the father pointed out, hey, come on, they might not have ever heard that before. It's not going to take you but a few extra lines to explain what you mean. Yeah. Fuck. Yaku rebukes you, beast of Babylon and Yaku's name. Who do you listen to? Fuck you, bitch. Yaku rebukes you, beast of Babylon, in Yaku's name. They're all patient, all loving and understanding, yeah. Mm. They would never think like that. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Yaku rebukes you, beast of Babylon, in Yaku's name. That is who she is. Or maybe, like Yeshua said, she's playing your love. Fuck you, bitch. Crazy Yaku in Yeshua's mighty Kodesh name. Yeah, because she doesn't... I... She likes to put down. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Yaku rebukes you, Mr. Babylon, in Yaku's name. Yeah. But others, she likes to put up. Fuck you! Yaku rebukes you, Mr. Babylon, in Yaku's name. Yeah. I'd like to tell you that you're all known. Hey, you know best. You're beautiful. You're gorgeous. Look at you. You could have it. Anything you wanted. Don't worry about them. You're a fucking goddess in your head. Fuck you, bitch! Yaku rebukes you, beast of Babylon, in Yaku's name. That is the beast of Babylon at play. Fuck you! Yaku rebukes you, beast of Babylon, in Yaku's name. Yeah. Why do you think your celebrities? Why do you think that some of them will work for the beast and throw her symbolism out? And all her images. Yeah. And parade around for her. And even say that they work or call in the beast or some saint or something else. A demon. To help them with their shows. Yeah. Yes. The beast is telling them that they're a goddess. They can rule the world. 
Look at the way the audience love you. Fuck you, bitch. The opera abuse should waste a on in Yaku's name. Yeah, they get caught up in their eagles. Some believe it to be true. You fucking bitch. The opera abuse should waste a on in Yaku's name. Look at their fruits. What do they display? You fucking bitch. The opera abuse should waste a on in Yaku's name. That's enough for now. Yeah. Love you all. And thank you. Thank you. They love you all. Yeah. I'm just here to show you a clear representation of the father and of Yakwa and how the beast has been playing everyone to make them think that her agendas and moves are the father's and Yeshua's, but clearly they are not. Fuck you, bitch. Yakwa rebukes you, beast of Babylon in Yakwa's name. Love you always. I love you all. And thank you. Hmm. For listening, as Yeshua said. Thank you. Mm.